and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm bringing you a plant haul and a sort of like plant tour but without the tour because all the plants are actually in my kitchen um, dining area right now. So I'm going to start off with all... Hi guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had an Amazon delivery. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off with all the ones I bought recently and today i got a couple today couple five today um the first two ones um that i'm going to show you are actually outdoor plants um i haven't actually got any plants outside other than fake topiary balls and two bay trees. Um, so the first one i got i've put them in little pots already from the pound shop a pack of two of these are in the pound shop so i thought i could spray them with some rustoleum stone effect, which I thought would be really nice to match the balcony. But um, yeah, this is a imper imper Imperata Cylindrica, so a red baron, um, and it says it will grow up to 40 centimetres, and I thought that would be really nice. I'm going to go back and get some more uh, maybe tomorrow, or yeah, I might go tomorrow, and then have them, they'd be a nice filler, I think, because they're like, their grass it would be nice along the bottom um, but they have these beautiful red um, leaves and red tips which I feel are really pretty um, so yeah that one enjoys uh, the sunshine and um, tells you not to feed it with plant food so yeah that was, I thought that was lovely and they were 3 99 um, those ones and this is another decorative grass this one actually flowers. I'm not too sure if they're meant to look as dead as that, but hey. This one is Carex Oshimensis Evergold. But I thought this was so pretty. Look at that. I love how the, the leaves just fall around the edge of the pot. Let's see, I haven't taken off the uh, thing yet. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, for $3.99 as an outdoor plant, I, I really want to get an outdoor stand that I can put the plants on, keep off the floor away from the kids' scooters. Um, but yeah, that was three ninety nine as well. Um, this I got from a plant shop, not Lidl. Those were from Lidl. These were from a plant shop, our local plant shop. This I bought only because they took card, they take card, but only over £15. And the two plants that I wanted actually only came to £11.50. So I had to go and buy another plant, but this I see, and I thought it would be lovely in the bathroom. Um, it looks so easy to care for, and it's just like, I don't even know what it's called. If you guys um, figure it out, please let me know, because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just these curly um, leaves, but they're like, like cylindrical leaves. They're not flat, they're cylinders, and they're so pretty. Look at these curly, it's just, oh, it's fantastic. I'm so happy with that, and that was £5.50 um, from the local plant shop, so I'm really happy with that, really pleased, and that will go beautiful in my bathroom. So there's that one, I have no idea where I'm going to put these now as I go. Um, the next one is the first one I picked up, I just love, love, love the, oh it's wet, <laughs> she watered them just as once when I got there. Um, it's got these beautiful variegated leaves giant leaves compared to the ones I own. Um, there's some new buds coming, I think you can see that. There's some new ones forming already. Um, so I'm looking forward to looking after this. And yeah, this one was 6 99 or no, five pounds this one was. And this one was 6 99 I'm sure it was that. <laughs> but yeah, I just love this. I don't, again, I don't know the names. They haven't left the labels in. Um, so I'm not too sure which one that is, but how gorgeous is that? So pretty. Um, so that's another new one. And the last one I got, it looks kind of like a monstera mon mon plant. You can let me know if you're a plant fan. Um, I'm going to look them up anyway, just so I know how to look after them. Good, because they don't haven't left the labels in again. But this one is looking really strong. New leaves come in again and a um, little baby one down here. But yeah, I mean, look at the size of that leaf. How gorgeous is that? It's so nice, and I just see it, and I was like, that would be really pretty um, somewhere. I don't know where I'm putting any of these yet, so welcome to the family. 
Right, I'm going to put this one on the floor. Okay, and the one I bought last week oh, is in one of my pound shop, another pound, pound shop planter. Um, these are a pound. I think you get a pack of two in these ones as well. But I just, I love the dark grey. Um, this one is the Schaeffleira Aboricola. Aboricola, and I'm not sure on the uh, easy name for it, but that was a little plant as well um, when they did their flower market, not last week, week before. And this tiny little um, leaf here, this was actually a tiny, minuscopic little baby when I bought it, and look at it now. How cute is that? It's nicely grown. And it's looking really healthy. I mean, there was a few um, things wrong, like this clip was here and it damaged a bit of the plant. So I moved it straight away and moved it up a bit. So it was a bit looser. But other than that, it's in really good condition and the leaves look really healthy. So yeah, that one's really pretty. And I'm a big fan of this one because it looks like hands. So yeah, I love this. I love, love the pretty leaves because they look like big flowers. But yeah, I love that one. On the names again, um, but I think, no, I'm not even gonna try and name this. I, I kept the cards, but they're not in the pots. I kept them in the drawer. Um, but I know this one's the coffee coffee plant. I did have a banana plant, but it, it died um, in transit. It wasn't doing so well when I first got it. But yeah, this one is my favorite. This lives in my front room. Um, I just, I love the fluffy leaves and how full it looks. And this was probably down here when I first got it. So it has grown, it's done quite well. And considering they're from Amazon, they weren't, no, sorry, not Amazon, Groupon. They were from Groupon. These three were from Groupon and it took about two weeks to come. Uh, not even two weeks, it was a week and a half. But yeah, the pl banana plant was dead when I got it because um, it tipped over in transit and lost lots of its soil. But this one's still going strong and growing really well. Oops, baby's, baby's not happy. Um, this one as well, this has done really well. I mean, there was a few um, stems that had broken off and died pretty sadly. It was just awful. It was just loads of them just all dried and died. But it's going strong at the moment, it's doing pr pretty well. I would love to know the um, fancy names to these, um, but I can't remember, I can't even remember those two. I do have the cards, like I said, but yeah. But, and then this one, the little um, banana, uh, coffee plant. These, look how tiny these leaves are. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some really new baby leaves forming. So it is doing quite well and it sits here in the corner um, in the kitchen and it's doing, doing okay. It's uh, fused its leaf to the other one, there it goes. So yeah, and there's loads of new little babies. So yeah, this one was quite a squat when I bought it as well, when I first got it. So yeah, they're doing pretty well. Definitely gonna empty the water in that. Um, the next thing I got quite a while ago, this one, I moved it and plants don't like to be moved. Um, so I'm not too happy about that. I should have just left it where it was. But this is a peace lily. Um, but yeah, it's got some new new flowers forming on there. And this was like it when I got it. It looks like my child has taken a bite out of it. It's quite nice. And this uh, survived really well in humid um, areas of the home. So it's really good for bathrooms. So I might actually put it in the bathroom. I need to make a space for it though. That's the only problem because our shelves are quite full. But yeah, no, it's doing quite well. It's growing, it's leaning because it was facing this way towards the sunshine in the front room. So you can tell it loves it, it loves its sun. So that one is the Peace Lily. And that was from my local shop. And it was actually, I think it was a five pound, fiver as well. So, I mean, for a fiver, and you get this gorgeous pot with it as well. I think it's such a lovely present as well, which is really nice. And the last two small ones I got from, I bought these the same time as the piece in the actually, is this one. This is a little ivy. It got a bit battered when I bought it. Um, it was in a plastic bag and when I got it home it was sort of 
<coughs> falling apart. Um, it was only, I think it was like two ninety nine or three pounds. That's the same thing. But um, I didn't really care. I thought, no, I can make it work. I'll um, fix it, basically. I'll, I'll nurture it. And you know what? It was tiny. It was literally a few sprigs. And now look, I mean, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but all these are new, new leaves. There was nothing on this stem. And this one over here, this stem was about here and it's grown. So it's doing really well. And this is an IV, um, not too sure on the fancy name for that, but I thought it was really cute. And these little glass pots um, dishes were actually from the pound shop and you got three for a pound. And I thought they'd just make cute little um, plant dishes. So yeah, that's that one. And this one as well, like I said, they got a bit battered and but they're just little filler plants i mean these this was about here so it has grown and there's new little buds coming out there as well so it's doing okay i've managed to uh not kill it yet so there you go a little spider plant for you i'm hoping it gets nice and full i can repot it and put it somewhere where it can trail and look really pretty um so yeah the next the other two are really big plants and I'll show you their pots first. I bought the El Ho pots from Amazon and it was $6.99 and I bought it in the grey, the light grey. This is my ficus. Now, I am, um, if you follow me on Instagram, on my personal account, I grew up with a ficus in my mum's house when I was little and I loved ficus plants and I always wanted one. So when this popped up in Lidl for $4.99, I couldn't resist it so I bought this and when I first bought it all the leaves are variegated well okay 90% of the leaves are variegated but as it grows you'll see that most of the ones that have grown lately are the dark green leaves oh, I don't know if you can see um, but yeah they're all the green leaves there are some of the variegated leaves coming out because you get two how many stems is in there Three stems, and I'm assuming one of them is variegated. I think. Is one of them variegated? Yeah, two of them are variegated, and the other one is the green, the green colour because. So yeah, and that is done so well. It was below this stick. It was like down here, but on the stick. Obviously, it's growing, and look how tall it is now. I'm really proud of that becoming a very good plant mum, <laughs> nurturing my babies. So yeah, that one's really cool. And all the little new buds are coming and the little tiny leaves are popping out. So I'm really happy with that one. My other little baby. And the last one is the, I think this is a Dracania um, palm something. <laughs> um, this poor plant gets touched by my kids every day. They won't leave it alone. For some reason, they love to bend, like they do this to its leaves. And oh, I go mental at them because they just don't respect my plant. But do you know what? He's surviving and he's strong, but his poor leaves are just battered. Look, it's this side because this side faces the wall. So you can see where they've been at it. And they just sit there and play with the leaves and bend the leaves and damage the leaves. Look what they've done. So yeah, that's my kids attacking my other kids. Um, but no, it's doing really well. It's got this beautiful red edge to the, leaf, to, the, to the leaves. And, you know, it looks beautiful next to the telly. And it's growing really well. And it just, it's a lovely colour against the stark walls. We've got so many white, so much white in here. It's just nice to have so much green. I don't know if you can even see me now. I'm just like in a plant. Um... But yeah, I love this. And this was also $4.99 from Lidl's um, when they did their flower market. This I bought, yeah, about four months, three, four months ago now. I've had it for quite a while and they're doing really well. So I'm going to keep collecting plants until I've got no space left. Hubby is not going to be happy about that. But yeah, that's Lidl plant. And that actually concludes my plant haul and my plant tour. Oh, just hit a leaf. Um, and I just wanted to show you these because, guys, they're in the pound land um, at the moment. And for a pound, 
I've seen so many people making different things with these on YouTube, like making tables and all sorts, but I use them for the bigger plants, um, for when they're out in the front room and stuff, just to lift them off the floor a little bit, it's to give them a bit of sunlight and stuff, but a pound, you can spray them in any colour, like gold, silvers, colour, and I think it would look lovely, but mine are black at the moment, uh, not fussed about that. But yeah, I thought they'd be nice to show you, um, to show that they're in at the moment, and you can like literally lay a tray on that, make a little table, put it outside, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that concludes my plant tour, guys, and I'm gonna have so much fun now putting these all back. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. It's obviously a little bit different, because I'm usually showing clothes and stuff that I bought from the pound shop. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping you've enjoyed this guys and I hope that you can look forward to um, seeing my plants grow and flourish and I will do a proper plant tour of them around the home. Alright guys, thank you so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.